welcome back to another video. Welcome to my bathroom. We're gonna do a like get ready with me video. My friend Rachel did one of these on her channel this week and I'll link that video down below. And I just miss doing that. I don't think I've done a get ready with me in since like nine and Adam's first anniversary. I think I have a video of me getting ready for our like anniversary dinner we were going to. I, I'm sure I can find that and I'll link that down below and put it up in the iCards as well. But I just thought it'd be nice because Valentine's Day is in a few days and tonight we're actually celebrating by going to church. Our church is throwing like a little Valentine's Day like steak and salad dinner and so we're going there tonight and I feel like I want to get dressed nice. It's like 1 30 now which is kind of early to be getting ready i don't even think the dinner is until like 5 30 or so but i have the energy honestly i've been sitting for a while outside me and dolly have been outside all day because it's like 70 degrees and it feels amazing and i figured why not just stand a little bit and go in and get ready and that way my curls will have time to fall as well and that way whenever i need to be ready to go i can just get dressed so and plus i need to Give, spend some time finding out what I'm going to wear because I have no idea because obviously I want to wear something like red or pink but also I don't have really a whole lot of red and pink things that still fit me so I know I have a red sweater in there so I'll probably end up wearing that but yeah I want to give myself plenty of time plus I know when Adam gets home he's gonna want to shower and stuff and I'm not I don't like getting ready when he's in the shower because it gets like super steamy in here so we're just gonna get ready now my hair holds a curl really well, so it's not that big of a deal if I get ready early. I went and got my nails done already. I got them done today. Finally got rid of the square nails, so you guys should be proud of me. Uh, I know square nails are like kind of still in, but really not. So I feel very in style with my new nails. And also they're just like gorgeous. I was trying to wait until next weekend to get them done because next weekend is my maternity pictures but I mean if they're weak old nails it's not gonna make that big of a difference in the pictures because they were looking so bad and I was not about to go to this dinner tonight with them looking bad and plus they were getting on my nerves because they were starting to chip and plus I needed a new fresh set anyways because if you get acrylics you already know you already know like every six months you have to like get a new set on because the old set just gets kind of crusty and like easily comes off so I needed that anyways I knew I was gonna get a new set before the baby came anyways so I just went ahead and got it and I'm glad I did because these feel so much better and they look so much better because those last nails were chipping so easily like I think my first nail chipped like within a week of getting them done and it wasn't the nail tech fault tech's fault like literally the acrylic was just falling apart because it had been on there so long and now we're ready to do everything else. Yes, I did go to the nail salon without any makeup or anything on because I wasn't about to do my makeup and then have to do it all over again. As you can see, my hair's already still pretty curly. I curled it on Thursday morning and today's Saturday, but I wanna do it again. That way they're like fresh since it's a little bit of a nicer dinner, but I think I'm going to do makeup first. I also want to try and do my makeup pretty nice because next weekend for my pictures, normally I make my twin sister do my makeup for any special occasion. She actually did my makeup for my wedding, but I know she's, she said she's going to come to the pictures, but I don't know if, I mean, she's not going to have time to do them like right then and there. So I'm going to learn to do something super simple. I'm going to try something super simple and have some kind of plan for next weekend when I take my pictures. And I'm no expert by any means, so this is not a tutorial. This is just how I decently know how to do it. So I'm gonna put some concealer on my eyelid because I've learned for me, if I put concealer on there, it tends to, the eyeshadow will stay longer and it won't like rub off for my eyes getting like sweaty or oily. Plus it kind of evens out the color because my eyes can get pretty red. I'm also, I don't normally do this, but I think I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes because I'm having some bags because 
I'm sleeping, but you know, not that great. Especially since I'm still so congested from the cold I had. And just getting comfortable while you're pregnant is just really hard at night. But I'm getting more sleep than most at this point though. So I like feel kind of privileged in that way. So I'm trying not to claim too much because really I am. I mean, I'm getting a solid like at least total four or so hours. So I mean, it could be a lot worse. So now I don't really, I don't do foundation or anything like that because one, I don't like taking the time. Two, I can never get it to look right. Like it always looks super fake. So I just do eyebrows and eyes. And so let me do my eyebrows. I'm plain. So I normally only do like pinks and oranges on my eyelids because I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Um, and I don't really know how to do anything else except for do like a little darker color up here and then a kind of like base color here. That's really all I know how to do. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I guess now's the time to just try something a little darker and then if I don't like it, I'll just take it off because I have the time. So let's do that. I really just need to sit down and let my twin sister teach me how to do makeup, but I don't. See, I feel like that's too dark, but that's just me. So let me just do it, and then if I don't like it, I'll take it off. I already know I don't like it. I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> I already know I don't like it, it's too bright. I'm just not a bright person when it comes to makeup. So let's just, let me just go with the colors I normally do and just play it safe, like always. Brown too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go in with something lighter that I've used before. I also will not be offended if anybody gives me any hints or any tips, I guess I should say, on how to do any of this better. Baby boy's trying to like jump out of my belly, it feels like, which is fine, I enjoy. I'm so glad he moves literally all the time and I need to turn on the light because I feel like that would help me. Okay, that's better and not nearly as bright as the other. Looks pretty even. The lighting's kind of off in here. So for you guys, it might not look that even, but I promise it is. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a, another pink, slightly lighter, go all over my lid. Cause like I said, that's all I know how to do. After doing all this, we're gonna say a silent prayer that I don't get mascara all over my eye and ruin it. And I don't know if everybody's like this, but I, I always hate my eyeshadow until until I do my mascara. That's what it looks like. Pretty basic. Looks like it's all the same color, but don't really care because I like plain. Now let me take this little fluffy brush and just go over it so it's not so super harsh around my eyeballs. And I think that's it. That's what it looks like. Now, the hard part. Let's try and do this without messing it up. He does not like me to stand like that. <laughs> okay, that's one coat. <clears throat> Let me put in the first coat on this eye. I don't know how I didn't know about this before, but literally putting two coats of mascara on makes the biggest difference. And it stays longer and it makes sure our eyelashes look a lot thicker. For some reason, up until recently, I just thought that, like, cause in the past when I would do it, I guess I would do it before they dried to put the second coat on and it would make them super clumpy. And I just thought that's what happened when you put two coats on, but it actually, if you do it the right way, it makes it better. All right, that should have been enough time. Let's put the second coat on. I don't, I don't think I've messed up so far. And then I need to get that little bit out of my eyebrow. I got like a little bit on my eyelid, so I'm gonna see if I can take it off. Came off like the littlest bit, but it's not gonna make a difference. Also pro tip, something else I didn't know until a few years ago. Wait till your mascara dries up 
on your eyelids and then it's a lot easier to come off if you don't want to mess up what you got going on. Time for hair. I already did a video not that long ago, probably three weeks ago, where I showed how I curl my hair. So I'm not going to do all that. <clears throat> but if you want to go watch it, I will link it down below if just watching me do it isn't enough. Plus, another reason I'm doing my hair over again, even though it doesn't really need it today, is because, for one, that way in the morning for church I won't have to do it, and it'll be nice and fresh for Super Bowl tomorrow because we are going to a friend's house, and it'd be nice to just not have to do anything to my hair. I want to try to wear my... Engagement ring and wedding band today too because I haven't been able to wear that in a while and I miss wearing them honestly. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I haven't worn my engagement rings in like, I don't know, like three weeks at least. I don't know. I did a video when I got to that point where I couldn't wear them anymore because I wanted to document I had reached that milestone. But it's been a while and I just want to wear them. But my hands are swollen. But I do really want to wear them for my... If I can't wear them tonight, that's fine. But I do really want to wear them in my pictures next weekend. So hopefully I can do that. Because it's weird. I've worn the engagement ring since... 2018 August of 2018 what three years until now and now it's just weird not being able to wear it every day I mean I wear this one and that makes me feel like not 100% naked on my finger but I still miss wearing it because it's so pretty maybe I can wear it in my do you guys have any fun Valentine's Day plans me and Adam don't really have any plans other than what we're doing tonight we're not the biggest fans of going out on actual Valentine's Day because everywhere is just so crowded. But I also like kind of want to do something because it's our last Valentine's Day without a baby. But I also don't want to fight the crowds on Monday night. And tonight we have this. Tomorrow night is Super Bowl. So maybe we'll just go out like next Friday and that way it'll all be calmed down maybe. And <clears throat> we can just celebrate them. I'm also okay with just having a chill Valentine's Day too because it's our last Valentine's Day without the baby. And our life's about to be <clears throat> kind of crazy for the next 18 years or so. Longer because we'll have more kids probably. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm sitting here thinking I don't want to get dressed yet because it's only 2 o'clock. But also... I just want to figure out what I'm going to wear and when you're pregnant you can't just look in the closet and be like oh yeah I'm going to wear that. You kind of have to try to make sure one that it fits and two that it actually looks <clears throat> like semi flattering and it doesn't just look like you're big. I only like things that like hug my belly. I don't know. We're going to have to really work through it. I'm, I'm getting to the point now in pregnancy where Really a lot of stuff is starting to not fit anymore. Like a lot of my t-shirts aren't fitting anymore and I thought they would fit a lot longer because I still have like eight weeks. So I, I mean I have two months left to go pretty much or less or a little bit more depending on when he decides to make his grand appearance. And my t-shirts aren't fitting anymore. Like even the shirts I wear at night or used to wear at night that are like supposed to be big because I don't like sleeping with anything tight on there are too tight now and I'm already hijacked some of Adam's shirts to wear to sleep and then just my regular t-shirts are just too tight like I mean I can squeeze in there but then they're uncomfortable because they're so, so tight and the whole point of t-shirts is that they're not tight so we're not really on a struggle bus and I'm like struggling with do I just make do with what I have for the next eight weeks or do I spend more money on maternity clothes more maternity clothes but also the seasons are about to change hopefully so hopefully it's gonna get a little sunnier so i have a lot of dresses i can wear that i haven't had a chance to really wear a lot because it's been so cold so i just don't know what i want to do i don't know if i want to spend the money on something i'm only going to wear for the next eight weeks or i'm going to suck it up with what i have last piece 
Here's what it looks like freshly done. Close up on my makeup. Super basic, probably exactly what I'll do next weekend, but that's fine. I have a, it's not a super fancy dress, but I have a nicer dress that I'm gonna wear. It'll be fine. Nobody's gonna care what I look like anyways. They're gonna be looking at my belly in the pictures, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna let these cool, and let's see if we can go find something to wear, because that's gonna be the real struggle of today. Here's my closet full of clothes. Half of them I can't wear because they don't fit, but Here's the red sweater that I was talking about. Oh, I can't hold it, hold on. I know I have this red sweater, and I'm thinking about, I have a, if I can, oh, here it is, it's somewhere in here. I have this like long fitted maternity maxi dress, so I might do that thing I've seen on TikTok where you like layer the sweater over the maxi dress. I don't know how to explain it, but I'll show you. <laughs> I don't want to put it on right now, but I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. And I'll pair it with either these shoes, which I haven't worn in a long time because they're super fancy. Or just these regular boots that I've been wearing a long time, like almost every day at school, that are from Walmart. I think that's what I'm going to do. I also have this pink sweater that I could also pair that over the black, but I feel like the red and black would look way better. And plus I haven't had a chance to wear this yet. And I really should wear it because it's really pretty. I need to wear it more often to work, honestly. I kind of forget I have some stuff, but we'll see. We'll see what we do. Call me crazy, but I might, I might just try that after I get like my hair and stuff figured out. I might just like put on the outfit and make sure it's gonna work. Then take it off and just put it on later when everything is good to go. Should be good and cool. And I just take a regular brush and brush through it because I don't like super ringlety curls anyways. And like I said, my hair holds a curl really well. So I'm not really concerned about the curls falling or anything like that. It's kind of poofy, but it'll go down a lot, which is why I'll, another reason why I should do it early. I think I'm gonna do something super simple. The other day I just did like two twists on the side and met them in the back. And I think that's just what I'm gonna do right now as well. Is you just take two strands and literally cross them over, drop the back one, cross over, drop the back one, and go all the way down. Well, I go to about right here, so. And you just twist until you get to the back. And that's one side done. Probably gonna end up pinning it again, but I'm just gonna go on and do this side and then I'll decide where I need more pins. That's what it looks like. You can pull some pieces so it's not so tight. I'm gonna go put on the dress and the sweater and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna have to redo my hair because I'm pretty sure I messed it up when I was putting this on. Look how cute this is. Hold on, I feel like I need to tuck it in a little. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Aw, I like it. I'm glad I have TikTok and knew that this would work. All right. So for the hair, honestly, I'm trying to think if I want to wear it like this or if I just want to wear it down. Let me see what looks better. I think I like this outfit better just since the outfit's already so cute. I think I like it better just down and not pin back. Yeah, I think so. Oh, look how cute that is. Well, now that we know that works, I'm going to go take it off. <laughs> But I am gonna go on ahead and close out the video. Here's the Valentine's Day outfit. I'm gonna go on ahead and close out the video. Thanks for getting ready with me. Like I said before, if you have any makeup tips, please send them my way. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video on Thursday. Bye.